Welcome back, everyone. These days, it's not surprising to hear about people being out of work for over a year. Our next guest says there are jobs to be had, but landing one means adapting to the new economy. Michael, Dr. Woody Woodward is the author of The U Plan. Dr. Woody, welcome to daytime. Thanks for being here. And it is unfortunate. A lot of folks still banging on doors and not getting a lot of results. Absolutely, and, and thanks for having me. You know, one of the things that we have to realize right now is we're at 9.5% unemployment which is unchanged from this time a year ago. And on top of that, we got nearly two and a half million kids graduating college this year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that herd of 15 million people who are unemployed is getting larger and larger. All right, well, there you have three essential tips mm -hmm. to finding your, your new career. So y this is not only for people who are just getting out of college, this is for people who have worked and now they're out of work. I think whatever the point in life you're in, whether you're a, a graduating senior, uh, a recent grad or millennial or a battle-tested workforce veteran, mm -hmm. I really think it goes back to three fundamental things. And yeah. I always preach this because my training is like as a psychologist. Okay. So, and that is first, you got to know yourself. There's know the yourself. Right there. Know uh, yourself. Know yourself. Then you've got to know your brand. What is it that you're projecting? What is it that people are going to consume? What do they know about you? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is have a roadmap. It's all about having a plan. That's why the title of the book is The You Plan because I firmly believe in uncertain times if you want to navigate that uncertainty and the stress of not knowing what's going to happen, you need to have a plan. And you can't wait for someone to bail you out. You figure it out yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you figure it out? You say you have, there are five fundamental questions that you need to ask yes. um, to, how to how to build a successful career. Right, it's five questions that you have to ask yourself. And the first is, what are my values? Values are what guide your decision making. And most people that I talk to can't answer the question of what my values are. And you have to align that with your career choices. Uh, the second is, what are my intrinsics? What do I bring to the table? What did I show up to this planet with, like personality, uh, you know, my intelligence, my abilities? And then what have I learned since? So that's the second one. The third is what, is, what are my passions? What is it that excites me? What is it that gets me out of bed in the morning? And, and where is my real enthusiasm? And so if you can answer the question of what are my values, intrinsics, and passions, then you, you really know what your essence is about, which is the fourth question. What is my essence or brand? And how do I effectively project that? And then the final thing is, this is all academic if I don't know what my roadmap is. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of ways that you figure out what your passion is. Is it what section of the newspaper you go to? <laughs> yeah. in the morning? Is it right. what right. station you find yourself on on the television when you're, when you're watching something? Is, does that tell you really what your passion is? You know, Cindy, here, there's a reason why I leave passions to the third. Uh, uh, question in, in my five questions because you need to temper passions with reality because mm -hmm. some passions are things that maybe are exciting and fun for a hobby right but they're not going to put food on the table right, right? Mm -hmm. they're not going to get my career to the next level right. so I think it's about looking inward and understanding what is it that I really value what is it I bring to the table what's exciting to me and that I can take and turn into something in my life uh, well dr. wait let, let's put it this way there's still a lot of people who are probably watching right now going that's all well and good right. <laughs> right. I've been knocking on doors for a year now and I'm still not right. getting any results uh, what kind of mistakes might these people might be sure making? and and the reality is Dave we've got over near or nearly seven million people who have been out of work for longer than six months and that's why I say this is a great opportunity to step back because the old tried and true ways of you know, throwing your resume online out there, going to job fairs, knocking on doors, isn't gonna work anymore. So mm -hmm. you really have to differentiate from the herd. So when it comes to mistakes, I believe people put the cart before the horse. In other words, they get out there and they start doing things like shotgun blasting resumes, right. showing up at job fairs, but without any real purpose or sense of determination or deliberation. And that's why when I talk about the U plan, my idea is step back first if you want to differentiate, go in with a strong plan and a good sense of who you're targeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And a good sense of who you are as well. Absolutely, because if you don't have a good sense of who you are, you're not going to effectively project that to potential employers, customers, clients, whoever, unless they can see that. All right, Dr. Woody Woodward, thank you very much. The U Plan is available now. Still ahead on daytime. She makes a pretty good-looking uh, spy, Angelina.